why has the contribution by agriculture to GDP reduced even when the sector employs most Ugandans? So let's look at the causes of the decline in the share of GDP from agriculture in Uganda. The first reason is low income elasticity of demand for agricultural products, like especially the foodstuffs. Yeah, like even when you increase the supply of agricultural products, the demand of the products will not will not increase. Most of the times they have fixed demand. Yeah, so there is low income elasticity of demand for agricultural products, one of the reasons. Another reason is the deliberate government policy of investing more in industry and services due to their high multiplier effects. Industry and service sector, they have lower risks and they have higher returns compared to agriculture. Since agriculture depends on nature, yeah, there are higher ch- ch- chances of making losses. So the government ends up investing more in industry and service and forgets the agriculture sector. Yeah. Then another reason is climate change. Climate change affects agriculture more than industry and service. Yes, because like agriculture depends on seasons. There is a planting season, weeding season, harvesting season, selling season. So climate change affects agriculture more than it, it affects the industry and service. So we end up producing less than, than we would have produced. Yeah. Another one is increased capital accumulation. Increased accumulation of human capital in Uganda. As more Ugandans continue to go to school and attain skills applicable off land, it influences the rate of agricul- of agriculturists to, de- to decline. Yeah. As people study, a few would want to go back after graduation and start farming and start doing agriculture. Yeah, so the increased accumulation of human capital, human capital is like skills and knowledge. Yeah, it has led to the reduced contribution of agriculture to the GDP. Another reason is uh, demographic changes. Uganda's young population is demanding more services, particularly education, health, entertainment, etc. We want more of services than the products, even though we need to eat, but we care less about it. Yeah. So the demographic changes also has led to the reduced contribution of agriculture to GDP. Another, another reason is the changes in resource availability. Land is diminishing as population grows rapidly. The agriculture sector is impacted more than the other two sectors since it's land intensive. So land is reducing as the population is growing. So the, the land for practicing agriculture keeps on reducing every day that passes. And lastly is international competition. The changing tests, new products, and changing comparative costs all are disadvantaging agriculture at the expense of industry and service sector. Yeah, the, 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 the prices of agricultural pr- products are ever-changing. They are ever-changing every now and then. So it discourages the farmers from what? From farming. And it, 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 it does not affect, it does not over-affect the industry and service sector compared to the way it affects the agriculture sector. So those are some of the reasons as to why the, sh- the agriculture share to GDP in Uganda has reduced. But though it, it, it has reduced, it does, it does not mean that people are producing less than they used to produce before. It is just that the other two sectors, the industry and service sector, are producing more than the agriculture sector now.